Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, we are going to look at a new concept named agentic context engineering. So context engineering is one of the most important topics right now in the agentic AI ecosystem. And there is a new paper that has been released called agentic context engineering. It's a very interesting concept that how we can create context, you know, when we are working on working for, uh, you know, building an agentic workflow. So let's jump in and see what this concept is all about. So if you look at here on my screen, I'm going to use this agentic context engineering or ACE or ACE framework with ADK, which is by Google. Google has created agent development kit. And right now you can see I'm using their web UI. Okay. Before I show you all of these things, right? I wanted to highlight first this new concept called agentic context engineering evolving context for self-improving language models now if you look at the latest you know uh, podcast or latest uh, thoughts by veterans like andres karpathy and other scientists they all have said that uh, you know context is really important and if you don't design and develop or implement the context right way uh it might not be it might backfire because let's say if your context becomes bigger and bigger okay and you basically use that uh in your memory uh memory design or state uh that's also uh break the agentic flows how the model reason and think in agentic flow right so too much of context is also not good that's what i'm trying to say so how do we now design context in a better way that's what agentic context engineering is all about this is the paper uh, that you see it over here and we have implemented this so this is how you know I, i'm going to show you all the code and this code will be available uh, you can go through it and i'm running this here in this agent development kit you can see it's called ace underscore agent so it's an ace agent and I also have a notion page where you, know, I, you can just go through the, some of the theories if you want, right? So every interaction that you have with your AI agent, you know, it becomes smarter and smarter. That's what it is. Okay. So uh, we have been using it through uh, Google Ag Agent Development Kit, ADK, that provides a web UI to kind of work and find out how it's working. So this basically follows this simple principle. Okay, so if you come back here, this follows this principle. So I'll just make this a page fit. Now, this is a, this is what uh, the underlying concept, the ACE framework is all about. You know, you have a generator, you have a reflector, and you have a curator. So it's a trio, generator, reflector, and curator, right? And it's ha it has an iterative refinement uh, mechanism built into this because it has something called content playbook. So this content playbook is nothing but a JSON right now. It's basically a dictionary. You know, you can also persist that locally or right now it's stored in the session state of agent development kit, but it's a playbook. And this playbook gets updated uh, if only it's required. Because let's say if you are just designing a context, you would, see context is a database right now. That's how we see it. Memory systems are DBs, right? You use SQL, NoSQL, you use JSON, TXT, Markdown, whatever. It's a database file format, right? Now, if you don't have an intelligent way to uh, store your context, it will become bigger and bigger, right? In your file system, whatever. It's a DB, whatever you have been using. Now, that's important that you don't update the playbook every time you only update when it is required so those kind of intelligence is like done through this ace framework so the specialized component that you see here generator reflector and curator that's what it is and i have created it over here as well you know that that's how it works why current ai systems don't learn because of the static nature of most AI, either take your input generate an answer and forget the context afterwards right if not designed properly so this term called context collapse, you know, the accuracy drops, knowledge decays over a period of time, right? And even if the context is too big, uh, you know, LLMs kind of start uh, finding problems. They cannot reason well because context is too much. So there's a problem of lost in middle kind of a thing, right? This paper by Stanford. So it's a big problem. Okay. So identity context engineering, a design pattern. It's a design pattern. I just said, right, how do we design context? that lets AI system evolve their own playbook based on past performance. So the playbook will get updated. So basically you perform CRUD operations, create, read, update, delete on the playbook. So that's how it works. You know, generator, which is, a, which is having a role of creator, reflector, which is having a role of analyst and curator, which is having a role of archivist that archive your uh, archivist, which archives your, you know, uh, playbook, okay, updates playbook with insights and feedback. So basically this form a feedback loop. 
edge over here, if you see, right, this uh, iterative refinement. So it basically becomes a loop, right? That's what it is. Uh, and you can follow all this code. Okay, uh, you can just go through it. Let me just ask this question here that, okay, I've come back here, I ask a question. You can see I'm asking, what are the best strategies for managing daily tasks? Now having an interaction with the agent, right? So what does agent do? Here you can see they start running. Okay, uh, it takes a bit, little bit of time. I'm running this locally that you can see. Okay, over here. Uh, and I'll also walk you through the entire code. Okay, uh, there are a couple of things that you should go through the code over here. You can see it over here. They say uh, the user's query asks for best strategies for managing daily tasks, which is a general advice seeking questions. I will consult the playbooks. I already have the playbook. I have been testing it for guidance on how to respond. So you can see it immediately goes to the playbook, that playbook that we have. Uh, and you can find out a uh, final answer over here. Affecting managing daily tasks involve a combination of planning, prioritizations, focused executions, and so on and so forth. Right, you can find out. And it does not update the playbook because there is no changes required. Okay, so this is, this is how cool it is, right? And you can keep on asking a lot of other questions. Okay, uh, from this uh, over here. So let's create a new session and I'm gonna ask, create a roadmap for learning AI agents in three months. This is a new question that I'm asking. So if you come over here, you can find out that uh, it works on SSE, like how agent development kit works. I have a couple of videos on agent development kit. If you are not aware of ADK, you can uh, watch that videos as well. So I'll just give a quick walkthrough while it's generating the output. Okay, over here. So if you, this is how the code looks like. We have an agent folder. In this agent folders, we have a couple of other subfolders. We have sub underscore agent and we have schemas. If you look at the schemas, we have a couple of files, delta.py and playbook.py. And in the sub agents, we have the three agents that we talked about, uh, the generator, the curator, the reflector. So if you look at the generator, we are using the agent module from Google ADK and we use Pydentic for data validations. Some config, config we have pretty simple, straightforward. You know, we have our Gemini 2.5 flash model for the config. Okay, and the model comes from that ENB file where we have our API keys, right? So make sure that you have the API keys. Let's come back to generator. We have a generator output class. If you look at the description, it says provide step-by-step -step reasoning process in the format of step-by-step -step thought process, blah, blah, blah. Basically for your pydentic thingy. And here we define our generator that generate answers and traces using playbook. If you look at here, it's a name generator. We have a model that we are using for this configure generator model, which is Gemini 2.5 flash description of this solve problems by referencing the playbook and return structured final answers. And here are the instruction goes. We have a user query and you have the current playbook. So this app colon playbook that you see, it's nothing but the dictionary as a playbook that completely stays stored in the current session. Okay, of that ADK that provides the agent development kit provides uh, state sessions to manage. You can also persist that locally through a JSON and then uh, read that file and give it over here as well. And you can find it out and it has some other things like some other uh, quarks and arcs over here for generator. Same goes to curator. In curator also the same things happens. We take the, excuse me, first I have to go to reflector, excuse me. In the reflector sees, in the reflectors we have uh, this is fine. Come over here. So in reflector, what we are doing, we're taking the user query and taking the generator output, the previous output of the agent. And then we are having the playbook. The so same goes over here for a reflector that reflects basically. And then we go into the curator part, which is the last agent. You can see it over here where it goes the reflector output and then playbook. So very, very good in terms of how we create an iterative refinement of this. You can see it over here, it generated a response, says three months roadmap for learning AI agents. You can see it says, I will consult the playbook for guidance on handling general queries. You know, it takes, it gives you some output. It gives you the final answer, three months roadmap for learning AI agents. Week one, two, and uh, week three, four, uh, and so on and so forth, right? And in, in the find the output below, right? So, this is how it works. You have the curator.py over here. So these are the three agents. Now, if you look at the playbook, let me show you the playbook. In this, we have a bullet class, that single playbook entry, which has ID, section, content, 
and a couple of we can also have guardrails thingy you know explicit content harmful neutral so on and so forth in this playbook class it basically says a structured context store as defined by ace framework right you pass the bullet sections and you have id and then here you perform the crud utilities create read update delete in the playbook right you can add you can update you can remove and you can do so on and so forth so very interesting concept right how do you manage it it takes as a bullet point so which is interesting only keeping the information which might be important for the agents you know to define uh, and it takes a little bit of time to run it okay so let's wait for it then i'll come back this is the playbook here we have delta that you see it says some mutation to apply to all the playbook it's a single mutation we perform a delta operation you can see it says uh, class delta batch bundle of curator reasoning and delta operations so this is our delta.py we have a playbook.py which is in the schemas so very modular in sense we have a sub agents you know generator reflector and curator and in agent.py we have our agent.py we have a this is fine this all in this slide you can see this is where i was saying right app cloak colon colon playbook so basically a dictionary that you can see pb.2 underscore dict we are not persisting it if you want you can persist as well right and you can see this is what it is the first question i'm also going to ask here uh what if i already know the machine learning and deep learning concept concept how will the roadmap look now for three months i'm asking this you come back here so i keep you uh, you know so you can look at the orchestration here we are having the orchestration in the agent.py because this agent.py file basically orchestrate so if you come here in the notion also you will find out the same thing you can see it says core files under the hood agent.py basically orchestrates the three agent workflow generator.py reflector.py and curator.py so these three agents that you see the generator basically handles structured generation logic reflector basically analyzes the quality and identifies insights and curator updates the playbook with learning deltas okay so delta is basically the learning kind of how should i put it it's like a parameter that you can see right that basically used to update the playbooks and then config where you can customize your models and agent behaviors so playbook is nothing but a json file which is a dictionary and then you can persist that you know if you want so this is how it is currently and you can go through it there are some real world use cases like productivity coach code review agent customer support and research assistant so i'll give you this of course this notion so you can go through it and if you want to learn more you can learn it also look at the research paper which is really interesting that how this uh, new framework has come up right so this is fine there are some you can see it over here uh, now i have asked and you can see playbook changes have also been done it says add response generation strategy for advanced mldl users because in the previous output if you see and i just ask a generic question okay give me three months learning roadmap now i in the next question that i asked to the agent i said hey look i already know machine learning and deep learning concepts because you know i'm an already an advanced user when it comes to ml and dl so now it has to create a roadmap for that particular user who has fundamental knowledge or understanding so now if you look at the output it changes the final answer it says given your solid foundation in ml and dl concepts a three-month roadmap should focus on specialization advanced application and practical implementation to deepen your expertise now here is the possible structure a specialized and advanced concept identify a niche like subfield that excites like nlp graph neural network explainable ai and then go through it hands-on implementation a month to advanced project you can do an end-to-end -end project you look at the interpretability, robustness, MLOps. So it's asking to learn deployment, optimization, and MLOps things because I already know the fundamentals. So this is very interesting. And if you come down, it gives you the reasoning that why it thinks. Well, reasoning is very important, right? Uh, uh, to uh, reduce or cut slash the hallucination. Now, if you look at this here, add a new bullet point to guide responses for users with advanced MLD and knowledge focusing on the specialization, blah, blah, blah. These gates updated in the playbook. So if you look at the playbook changes, it says add response generation strategy for advanced MLDL users. 
tailor roadmaps to specializations, practical applications, advanced concepts, and ML ops with clear sequential phases. Fantastic. So it's working fine, right? And in this agent development kit, you can find out your all your events that has gone, all the states that you see over here, you know, all your states that have been persisted at least in that uh, session storage. Uh, you can find out all your sessions. There is no eval strategy. We can set any eval strategies if you want. So I'll give you this code so you can go through it uh, you know, and find out how it works. You can see uh, fast API also runs on 8080. So if you just come on, like let's say, uh, if I just come on localhost 8080, my bad. Okay. And like let's do docs here. No, my bad. I am doing something wrong here with this. Fail to load API definitions, internal server. That is fine. We can still fix this. There's something wrong with the swagger UI, but we can get it. If you look at here, that's the uh, output it says. That's okay. So I'll give this code, ha have a look at this framework, very interesting. I wanted to highlight this framework so you can learn a new new concept that has arrived, a new framework uh, that might might be helpful of, you know, for your use cases. If you are, if you're working on some in-depth context design pattern, right, the in-production and stuff, you can try it out and let us know uh, what do you think of this framework, right? If you have any questions, thoughts or feedback, let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channel, guys. Find those information on channel ban and our channel about us. If you want to learn Identic AI, I have Identic AI Toolkit. I will give that link in description. Uh, you can get that and let me know what you think of that. If you also want already built SaaS project using AI agents, you know, across radiology, across stock market, and uh, uh, across uh, agentic engine optimization or ACOs, I have a bundle kit of six SaaS projects that is available for you to download and use it. It's available uh, in the description as well. If you like the video, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, guys, please subscribe the channel. That helps me to create more such videos in your future. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.